Hi, I'm Andrea George from Bruntwood, and we'd like to talk to you about what's happening within Stretford Town Centre right now and why, and most importantly, what you can expect when the works are complete. At the heart of the regeneration is a busy high street with new shops and hospitality, as well as lots of retailers you already know and love, so you'll be able to shop and dine with big brands as well as independents. Your town centre should be somewhere you can do all of this and also pop to the opticians, the chemist, the post office and get your hair cut and your nails done. And all of this will be centred around a big public square in the heart of our town centre. So today we're going to delve into the detail behind Stretford Town Centre plans uh, and I've invited Ernst along who's actually the lead architect on the project and works for Field and Clegg Bradley Studios. Uh, now, Ernst, I believe you're actually from Stretford, a resident no less. Yeah, no, I've lived in Stretford 20 years, uh, love it to bits and it's a real honour. Um, we've been working on the project for a number of years, looking at trying to get funding in, attracting the funding, talking to the community most importantly. Very much from day one, the council said we've got to co-curate this project with the community, listen to what they've got to say, yeah. what's important to them to, to, to bring about that positive change. So we, we spent a number of years in person, online, yeah. around models here in the mall, talking to people, understanding what they wanted to, to, to really see here. And that's what's coming forward now, finally, it's really exciting. And so we're standing here on King Street. Mm. Can you tell us a little bit about how this is going to evolve? Well, this has a fascinating history, and in fact, the whole area does, and that's what we were really looking first, is to understand and unpick everything that had gone before. So King Street, the main thoroughfare of Stretford, it was a, a market town before the mall came. And of course, the mall, Muhammad Ali, came in 1971 as a phenomenally success, successful, and we wanted to make sure we, we didn't lose any of that, all those histories. Yeah. And we realised that Stretford really needed to find again what it was. Um, and, and it didn't really need to, to be reinvented. It was actually finding about its past again. Yeah, what I loved is that where, uh, when we started to reveal what was behind, what you can't see now behind the facades, actually the original facades yeah. are still there, aren't they? And um, bringing that back to life actually is uh, incredible, isn't it? Brilliant, no, absolutely. We uncovered uh, by peeling uh, bits of building away and looking up on the roof just above us here, that there's all these original buildings still there. Yes. So the starting point was, well, let's just bring them to ground and, and, and really celebrate them again as they were historically. Yeah. All these um, buildings were brought back to life. Yeah. And then opposite, we'll be trying to um, break up the building of the, the 1970s building, bringing colour, and energy back to that yeah. too. So as we're in the town centre, could you tell us a little bit more about what's going to happen with the shops and the restaurants and other businesses? Absolutely, that's that's the, the, the essence of what we're, we're doing here. We've been talking to every single retailer that, that is here right now, trying to encourage them to work with us, which they absolutely want to do. What a lot of them want is uh, refreshed new shops with the new shop fronts, but they also want to right size. They want a slightly smaller premises. And we, so we actually, have an opportunity to bring more retailers into the mix, yeah. which is really exciting. And as well as the shops then, uh, there are opportunities for food and beverage around the square. Could That's you it. talk yeah. a little bit more about that? What, what you can see already with the food hall, with, with the Stretford Canteen, there's a real energy and demand for food and drink and that's going to be working its way through particularly around the square we'll get an open square around the, the quality safe entrance uh, and lift area that will be opened up a lot of daylight sunlight sort of a, a play square with, with, with seating and trees so you can dwell and enjoy the space yeah and that's exciting as well for King Street I think there are opportunities uh, to dwell there as well aren't there with some seats and um... absolutely yeah a lot of residents were saying we'd love to be able to sit somewhere without having to necessarily sit in a cafe and that's what we're bringing to the table too we know getting around is a bit tricky now the works have started but we really hope the hoardings and wayfinding signage is helping you get to the shops we're doing everything we can to make things as easy as possible for everyone we look forward to seeing you soon at Stretford Town Centre